What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So today we're doing a farming guide for the Kavia. Basically, how to max out your daily rep as quickly as possible, and what types of things you should be using your daily rep on. Because I do get this question quite often. Also, if we're returning our new player, this stuff might be kind of useful to you to see what the strongest items in this area are. So let's get right into it. Before we do, though, make sure you sub this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads, farming guides, build videos, news videos, all that kind of stuff. You're in the right place for Warframe content. And yeah, this is kind of, I guess, spoilers, I, I suppose I would say, because this is one of the latest... This actually is the latest game area in all of Warframe. So if you haven't beaten all your quests, haven't gotten to this area yet, you can probably watch it anyway because it's not that big of a deal. But yeah... Either way, it could be spoilers to somebody out there. So let's get right into the Kavia. So yes, once you've beaten the Whispers in the Wall quest, you get access to this area called the Kavia. It's basically the basement of Daimos. And we have a couple vendors here. We've got a, like, a gear vendor over here called Bird 3. We've got the bounty vendor over here, Fibonacci. We've got the Netracell and, like, weekly vendor person over here. Well, one of the weekly vendors, uh, Tagfer. And we have the very unique vendor over here called Loy, who provides many different services. We'll go over all these individually once we get to it. But let's start off with what uh, would be the best way to get your maximum rep. Because this is a syndicate. You get rep from this syndicate like any other syndicate. What's the best way to get maximum rep with a Kavya syndicate on a daily basis? I'm going to recommend to you that you check out what bounties are available on that current rotation. These bounties last for about 2 hours, 20-ish minutes, and they rotate every 2 hours, 20 minutes. Uh, but what you should be looking for, you should be looking for quick bounties here, and the main bounty type I'll tell you to check out is going to be called Exterminate. Now, make sure you're checking out which type of mini modifiers are on here. For example, this one says, complete the bounty in 6 minutes or less. That's exactly, those are the kinds of bounties to look for. You want ones that go really, really fast, and ideally, if you have the Steel Path unlocked, you put on the Steel Path. So... Looking at the bounty that I just recommended to you, we have the Tier 4 on the clock Exterminate. How much rep does it give you? If you look right here, it says 4,000 reputation. And the reason this one is good is because it's a higher level bounty. So if we put it on the Steel Path, that 4,000 rep goes to nine, or to, goes to 6,000 rep. We can get our 33,000 daily rep maxed out even quicker. Now, the reason that the Tier 4 and the Tier 5 are the best, not only because of the rep, but also the rewards they give as a possible drop. So if we look right here. As the possible rewards from this bounty, the common drop is the 3,000 endo. The uncommon drop is 4,000 endo. And same case for the tier 5 bounty. But if we go to the tier 3 or lower, the common drop is 2,000 endo. And the uncommon drop is 3,000 endo. So we're losing thousands of endo in the long run, running the lower level versions instead of the high level versions. But do keep in mind, these are RNG. So just because I see a good bounty right now doesn't mean that you'll have a good bounty as well. Now, once you go into these bounties, what's the best way to clear a steel path? Uh, murmur, exterminate as quickly as possible. I'm going to recommend uh, Energize Munitions Mirage to you. And that's going to be using uh, any good AoE weapon. So my main ones I use are the Kuva Grattler and the Acarius Prime. Those will let you clear through this mission very quickly. I'm also using the Aventus Spear Gun to get double ammo for my Arcwing Gun uh, in this mission. Which makes it really, really easy just to spam it down the whole time. So I'll show that video, or I'll link that video in the description down below. But yeah, guys, just run these really quick Kavi Exterminates. Now, while you're going through these, you can actually hunt down these things called Vokas, which will give you additional reputation you can bank for the next day. But sadly, uh, they take a little bit of time to pick up, so I'm not going to really recommend that as your main rep farming method. Now, if you're doing it with a full team, you can have one person clear the exterminate, other two people grab Vokas or whatever, but it's really not necessary. Another thousand rep here and there can help, but uh, yeah, you blow through them really quickly, so I wouldn't really worry about it. Now, while you're running through these missions, you'll find an enemy called the Gruzzling that will be, like, laughing at you and stuff. That Gruzzling should be an enemy you should be killing every single time. And why is that? Because the Gruzzling can drop a high-tier Voka, which will give you more reputation. It's about, like, 2,500 extra rep, I believe, for killing this Gruzzling if he drops that Voka. This Gruzzling can also drop Arcanes and things like that. So, definitely worth killing if you have the damage to take it out. And with this build, you will definitely have the damage to take it out. So, we just picked up uh, something there. I think it was, like, an Arcane or something. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next vendor. Now, you, we, I've shown you how to get the reputation. What are you going to do with this reputation that we're accumulating on a daily basis? Uh, now, there's multiple things you can do for it, um, but there's going to be certain items that are just like more useful than others. So, main vendor over here, Bird 3 is going to be the guy you're going to be dropping your rep on. Help me help you. And you've got two buttons. Now, if you are rank 5 with a Syndicate already, there will be a Archon Shard on a weekly basis right here at Bird's Vendor for the Shiny Treasures button. But if you're just looking for your daily rep stuff, what are good things to use your reputation on? 
over here. Now, of course, you want to get, you know, the things that you need first off. But reviewing all these items, we've got melee retaliation. Uh, we, well, rather, we've got arcanes. So the best arcanes over here are going to be definitely the gold ones. Melee exposure gives you corrosive damage on ability uh, cast on your melee. Very good for Korra. Very good for lots of frames, honestly. Very good one right here. Uh, high recommendation as far as what to use reputation on. That's one of them. Melee Influence. This is going to be one of the best arcanes in the game. Uh, on melee electric effect, it causes the, the, electric, uh, the status effects to be AoE it, in 20 meters for 18 seconds. So very powerful there. Um, it does require specific builds. Exposure is probably a little more general use. But uh, Influence of the right build can be really, really deadly and powerful. So these two arcanes are going to be some of your best options as far as what to use your reputation on. Grab Melee Influence to sell to people. Grab Melee Exposure to sell to people. Grab Melee Influence to keep for yourself. And so on and so forth. The other arcanes, Melee Animosity... Melee Vortex, they're definitely a lot more niche, and they are not really, you know, as widely used as these two are. So, these two Arcanes, Influence, Exposure, these should be your, some of your, the things you focus on for uh, obtaining and selling. Animosity and Vortex, those are like the junk Arcanes you get from the book that you don't want. Now, as far as these Silver Arcanes, Retaliation and Fortification, uh, they're not as bad as people think they are. Melee Retaliation can be okay for, like, Endo Farm to get some more melee damage, um, you have a high shield amount. Melee Fortification can be okay for an armor build, I guess, if you are not really planning on, like, you know, Vazarus, Vazarin spamming or something like that. So, basically gives you armor on melee kill. Not super important, but something that some people like. I've gotten my Anaros over 10,000 armor with this before. So, after you've looked at that and you decide what you want to spend that reputation on, we have a lot of Necromech mods down here. And there is also some other stuff down here that's not going to be as important. But, yeah, as far as other things to get on a daily basis, these mech mods can be pretty decent. Uh, there, are, there are certain ones that are better than others. For example, Necromech Repair is very good, but um, you know, some of these, like Necromech Fury, attack speed for the melee of the Necromech, no. So there are going to be certain mods out here you're, you're going to be you know, higher demand than others. You can tell, too, because the reputation level goes up. So you got 25,000 for like Necromech Streamline and Thrusters. You got 10,000 for Necromech Blitz. So I'd recommend to you uh, to go for some of these silver mods, actually. And funny enough, some of them are 25,000. Yeah, Necromech Stretch is 25,000, whereas some of these other silver uh, mods are 15k. So to be honest, some of these 25k ones are probably the ones you want to get, like Necromech Repair, um, Necromech Continuity. I know some people, some people like that one. So yeah, there are mods here that are worth some plat. I'd say go take a look around at what people are actually buying before you drop rep on this. Because one of the one Necromech Repair is twenty five thousand, one Melee Exposure is seventy five hundred. So you get you're basically th throwing away three Arcanes for one mod here. So keep that in mind and be very informed with your purchases when you're going in there. But yeah, some of these twenty five k ones are pretty valuable uh, from my experience. And moving on to the things you can't really sell or trade, we've got the Helminth Coalescence Segment Blueprint. I believe this requires rank 2 or 3 with the Syndicate to get access to this. But this is how you get access to purple shards and green shards and orange shards, for that matter. The, uh, the Helminth Coalescence Segment Blueprint from Bird 3. Now, you can't trade this. You can't really do anything with this besides put it in your ship and make shards out of it. So that's not something that's worth trading. And now there are these Grimoire or Corvex parts, for that matter. These are just going to be for one-time grabs for you. So you have these things in your inventory. Uh, so yeah, as far as like you no know, plat value and all that stuff like that, you're going to really be looking at these two Arcanes and some of these good Necromech mods. The rest of the stuff that uh, Bird 3 has over here are cosmetic items like Captura scenes. And there are some lenses here too, but if you're doing these bounties, you'll get plenty of lenses. So do, definitely do not waste 60,000 rep on any of these, please. Um, yeah, the, the, the bounties tend to drop them quite often, so... I am not going to be going over tag for too much in depth. We have a video on Netracells on the, the channel, but yeah, it's basically a guy that you talk to for Netracells, and you have a limited amount of times you can run these per week with the, uh, the loot. So yeah, Archon Shards, Legendary Arcades you could not get from Bird 3, only come from Netracells or from uh, EDA. But yeah, you can do this five times a week for five chances at Tau Shards or other things. So now we've gone over those three vendors, let's go over the... The most important vendor, in my opinion, here uh, for you know like everyday stuff. We've got Lloyd over here, and I'm actually there is also Necro Lloyd here, but this is going to require another thing. Rank five, the, the Syndicate will access a new mission on a weekly basis, where you hear this guy yap for a good minute and a half straight before you actually can click on the, the mission. But yeah, rank five required for this. I'm not going to go over EDA today. We're going over what you can actually buy with reputation and buy stuff here. But yeah, going over Lloyd, there are a lot of buttons for Lloyd. Um, now this guy does not involve Corvex at all, but he has some. Dante stuff. There are two frames in the Kavia, Corvex and Dante, and this is where you can get some Dante stuff. Now, I said earlier, those Echo Vokas you can grab from killing the Grizzly or picking up Vokas of Mission give you extra reputation. If you didn't want to do bounties, you could come over here and turn your Vokas for 
reputation instead. Like, turning in, like, what, like, 10 of these is going to be 20,000 rep. Get a couple more here and there. You're not doing any bounties for the day, but you're getting your maximum up rep. So you can get arcanes and mods, I suppose. But yeah, I already did all my rep for the day because of that good bounty. So I'm going to move on past this. No so you can actually trade for Voka from Lloyd. If you don't want to be doing these bounties, you can actually buy Voka from Lloyd for minimal resources. Some some Necrocoil and one Bellow Voka. You're basically turning a low tier Voka into a higher tier Voka for a minimal amount of resources. Like you get so many of these Atradi Obols and these the Stella and stuff like that. You're going to have so much of this. If you remember to, I'd recommend going over to Lloyd and buying this whenever you feel like it. It takes like five hours of refresh. So maybe don't buy it all the time. But yeah, whenever you're in here and you like just bother clicking the button, it's usually inconsequential resources at all, if anything at all. So yeah, grab these from Lloyd every so often. But yeah, here's the beat. Uh, we'll, let's show this too. So if you're doing the uh, Kavia Disruption mission, uh, which is called Armatus, you could use some of the resources from Armatus to get things like credit caches and ribbon transmuters. Uh, this is also where Dante comes from, but it's only one specific mission on all the Kavia guys. It's the Disruption mission. You will not get Dante parts in Exterminates or Mere Defense or whatever. It's only ex it's only Disruption, okay? Uh, but you get things like Credit Caches here, Riven Transmuters, Ruvox parts, and Ono's parts, and Dante himself, as well as some Capture Receipts. But here's the biggest button in all of the Kavia. It's called Arcane Dissolution. This is how you can get things like Energize or whatever. I mean, we've been talking about these Arcanes for like the last five minutes. You can also buy Arcanes from Lloyd directly for Vosphor. And you get Vosphor from breaking down other Arcanes you don't want. So, for example... If I, I just grabbed an arcane loot box from him right now, I got melee exposure, which is what I was just saying is good. But I got melee retaliation and melee fortification, which I said are still good, but not the ones you're really going to be hunting for. So you could take the arcanes you don't want, and you can go over here, and you just, let's, let's just say retaliation. I don't, like, I don't like that one for whatever reason. I would take that retaliation I just got, I would select it, and I would mark it for deletion. I get 18 of this resource called Vosphor. And that Vosphor is what allows you to buy more arcane loot box. You can choose which one you want to get. So we got Eidolon Arcanes from, like, you know, Arcan Energize, Daviri Arcanes from those portals I told you about last week, Kavi Arcanes, and again, these ones can contain, these can contain the legendary Arcanes that are only in EDA and Netracells, okay? So there's plenty of good stuff here, and you can also get it from any location in the game. As far as where I'd recommend you get them from, it's gonna be, this is going to be for filling out your Arcane inventory. Do you not have, you know, Arcane uh, Primary Blight? You know, if you don't have Primary Blight, then go do some, uh, some loot boxes for Daviri. If you don't have melee influence, do some for the Kavia. If you don't have our Energize, you know, roll the dice with the Eidolon boxes and see if you get an Energize. So it's really going to be what up to you. These are the, the Kavia loot boxes are kind of underwhelming. Like, there are times you get nothing at all good. Um, so it's, it's, it's just RNG at the end of the day, guys. You know, you can get an Avenger from the, the Eidolon box, you can get an a, a Energize from it. It's just going to be up to you if you, or you get double Arcade Ice, like me, some of the worst Arcades you can get. So. RNG is RNG. Hopefully this video was fun, helpful to you. Um, as far as some other tips for like you know farming these missions, I got plenty of farming guides on all these mission types. Uh, but for non-exterminate bounties, if you want to run some, um, alchemy can be kind of fast. I would say again, look for the modifier. So for this one, hit six enemies with a fire and four. That doesn't take that long. Uh, but also alchemy scales and how long it takes with how many players are in your squad. So maybe do this one like solo or duo. But exterminate does not become any worse with four players. So this would be the one that. Definitely recommend. But you might also notice that there are so many mission types here that it's inevitable that one of these missions will not appear. Like I don't know, I don't know why we have an assassination bounty, honestly. But yeah, there are more than five missions on the Kavia, so that means there's a chance there's no exterminate at any given time. So be constantly checking these bounties for quick ones. And if you don't see a quick one, maybe try cashing in some focus you had sitting around. Uh, disruption bounties, I believe some people like them. It's only one round. But yeah, I just I can't stand those disruption bounties, so. That's basically it. I'll see you guys next time. If you have any more additional questions or video requests, we got a bit of a we got a bit of time until a new update comes out on Warframe. So hit me with those video requests in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace.